हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल यू आर लर्निंग विद डॉक्टर शोभा निकम इन दिस वीडियो आई एल टॉक अबाउट स्टक एट फॉल्ट सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टक एट फॉल्ट यू मस्ट नो वॉट इज नीड ऑफ टेस्टिंग सो टेस्टेबिलिटी इज एबिलिटी टू टेस्ट ईच एंड एवरी नोड ऑफ द सर्किट इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स ऑब्जर्व एबिलिटी एंड कंट्रोल एबिलिटी ऑब्जर्व एबिलिटी मीन्स एबिलिटी टू ऑब्जर्व ईच एंड एवरी नोड एंड कंट्रोल एबिलिटी इज एबिलिटी टू कंट्रोल कंट्रोल मीन्स वॉट वी कैन सेट द नोड टू वन और जीरो सी चिप्स आर मेडअप ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर मटेरियल एंड मिलियंस ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन सिंगल टाइनी चिप continuously by scaling we are reducing size of transistor so when we are reducing size of transistor then the gate oxide uh, thickness is reducing the metal width is reducing basically lambda is changing so because of that there can be gate oxide shorts there can be metal to metal shorts there can be manufacturing defects there can be physical damage so it is very important to test our circuit so while testing what we can do if i have one circuit let's take an example of simple two input and gate how i'll check it i'll apply input suppose input is this is a this is b this is my truth table and this is my output y so for 0 0 i should get 0 for 0 1 i should get 0 For one zero, I should get zero, and for one one only, I should get one. So these are my correct uh, inputs and outputs. But stuck at fault means what? Stuck at one is what? This input is stuck to one continuously. It means even if externally I am pushing zero here, this input will not accept that zero. It is internally continuously. shorted to 1 so see when i'll apply 0 1 when my input is 0 1 what i should get at the output i should get 0 but because this input is stuck to 1 this one and this one so what i'll get is 1 so my correct output is 0 but what i'll get i'll get faulty output as 1 so initially in earlier years the testing was very simple they used to apply all the possible inputs it means to test this and gate they'll apply 0 0 and they'll check if output is 0 if it is 0 it is correct for 0 1 if it is 0 correct for 1 0 it is 0 correct for 1 1 it is 1 correct but as the complexity increases when number of inputs increases here number of inputs are 2 so number of test vectors are 2 raised to 2 that is 4 when number of inputs are 4 let's say my circuit has four inputs so 2 raised to 4 that is 16 16 test vectors will have to apply 4 times 0 from 0 0 0 to 4 times 1 but if let's assume the number of inputs are 125 then the number of test patterns are 2 raised to 125 and this becomes 4.26 into 10 raised to 37 so even i am checking my uh, ic if one pattern is taking one second so to test those many inputs it will take 4.26 into 10 raised to 37 seconds so this approach is very time consuming to avoid this fault simulators are employed and automatic test pattern generation tools are used so this stuck at fault model is used by those fault simulators and automatic test pattern generation tools to simulate defect in an ic so see to test this stuck at one fault instead of applying 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 what we can apply 0 1 we'll talk about stuck at 1 and stuck at 0 before that see there are single stuck at fault models and multiple stuck at fault models single stuck at 1 means what it assumes 
वन इनपुट इज स्टक एट वन और स्टक एट जीरो रिमेंबर स्टक एट वन मीन्स वॉट इट इज स्टक टू वन स्टक एट जीरो मीन्स वॉट इट इज स्टक टू जीरो सो सिंगल स्टक एट वन मीन्स वॉट वन इनपुट इज स्टक टू वन अदर इनपुट इज परफेक्ट बट इज इट पॉसिबल ऑलवेज नो समाइम्स इट इज पॉसिबल दैट बोथ इनपुट आर स्टक टू वन और स्टक टू जीरो और वन इनपुट इज स्टक टू वन अन अदर इनपुट इज स्टक टू जीरो so for that multiple stuck at fault models are used so when we use single stuck at fault model then number of patterns are 2n n are number of inputs so if i have uh, two inputs then 2 into 2 four patterns will be generated but for multiple stuck at fault model 3n minus 1 number of patterns will get generated now let's talk about stuck at 1 and stuck at 0 so stuck at 1 means input is stuck to 1 and stuck at 0 is input is stuck to 0 so we will talk about stuck at 1 and i'll take simple example of and gate in stuck at 1 fault we assume that any one terminal is internally shorted to 1 or it is getting 1 continuously it is shorted uh, we can't push 0 here so to identify stuck at one fault let's assume this input b is stuck at 1 so when i'll apply 0 0 my see my correct outputs are for 0 0 it is 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 for 1 1 it is 1 then see faulty outputs are for 0 0 as one input is 0 so i'll get output 0 for 0 1 also i'll get 0 but for 1 Zero when input is one zero, it should generate output zero. And guest must generate output zero. But this zero will not make any change in this input because it is internally stuck to one. So it will continuously consider input as one. And so this one and this one because of that will get output one. So faulty output is one. So to test stuck at one fault. at input b the test vector is 1 0 so instead of applying all test vectors we can simply apply 1 0 and we could identify the fault similarly for stuck at 0 let's assume again input b is stuck at 0 so if it is stuck to 0 and if i'll apply input 1 1 for 1 1 what i should get i should get output as One because in AND gate when both inputs are one output is one but because input B is internally stuck to zero it because of this zero one and another input is zero so I'll get output zero so faulty output is zero whereas correct output is one so you need to remember to identify stuck at one and stuck at zero fault. to identify stuck at one fault we must apply input 0 and to identify stuck at zero fault we must apply input 1 so it is all about stuck at one and stuck at zero faults thank you so much for watching